All right, guys, I need to wash these dishes that I didn't wash last night. That's my husband's coffee cup. I didn't wash it. Put this away, and then my candle warmer is on. We're going to cut up some oranges for today. I have my book here because I've been trying to read. It's so hard because my son's like, Mom, I need this. Or my daughter's like, Mom, I need this. So it's not hard to really focus on it. But it is good so far. I am only on page 41, and that was just all read yesterday. We just got it yesterday. Went to the library. So we're going to be making some French toast and some sausage. We're also going to have, like I said, the oranges. Um, so, yeah. Let's get started with this beautiful day. I did need to go water my plants also. I don't have a lot of things in my backyard. It's full of dirt. But I need to water my plants. They're getting so... I don't have a lot. I just have this one and then that small plum area there. My son was playing outside, but that's all I have so far. I want to plant some more, but I think I need to... We're going to redo our backyard. I don't know when. But, yeah. So, yeah, let's just start with breakfast and then start with our day. The rest of the day, I need to finish packing. I want to read some more. I don't know if you want to see this, like the overview or that's what it's about. And it's good. So, the next one that I'm going to be reading is this one. And then go on with the rest. I think I also got another book. I forgot what it's called, but we're starting off with this one. I have, I only, I've only read, I'm not a big book reader, but I've been loving, like, the Colleen Hoover. This is a good, this is really good. I love love stories, romance, and all that good stuff, so. All right, guys, we're making our coffee. guys, I don't know if I showed you my avocado. I'm growing an avocado, or trying to grow an avocado plant. I don't know how successful it'll be after it's planted, but it's doing good so far. I'm excited because we love avocado. today um with our family it is labor weekend and so like i said we're gonna get ready i am gonna be blow drying my hair using the revlon brush uh dryer or i don't know what it's called but the revlon brush um in, in the meantime or before that we're gonna go ahead and apply this it's a heat protector okay we're gonna be spraying this side and then we're gonna flip it over and spray the other side Make sure you spray the ends. 
and there you have it. Now we're going to be applying our lotion. We just shower and soap on our faces a little bit dry. I use the Oil of Olay face lotion just because it has SPF. Okay, now we're going to rub it in. Today we are going to be applying lashes. I do want to put my eyebrows, but I do not want to pay for it. So I think I'm going to order the kit from, um, from Amazon. I want to try, I think it's called like Maya or Mia um, brow lamination kit. I need to blow dry my hair. I'm going to be using this brush. It's absolutely amazing. Um, for me, because I do have super fair day hair, and then because after having my son, I was, I did lose my hair from here, and I haven't gotten it back, but I also haven't, like, been religious on my vitamins, um, so I don't really like to go in heavily here, so it is still a little bit curly in the end, um, but it's better than, you know, just having it in a pen like I usually always do. Um, so we're going to go ahead and blow dry it, and then we are going to be applying lashes. And I think I'm going to do my nails today. I'm not so sure. I want to, but I don't know if I'll have time. I don't know what time my husband will be home. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. As for the lashes, we're going to be using the, these cluster lashes. This will be my first time using it. I usually use like the fuller ones and longer ones. But I actually, my favorite type of lash is a wispy set. So I think I'm going to love this way more than my other ones and then we're going to be using this cluster lash glue i used the other one but it didn't really work all that great so we're going to try that out and we're going to, we're going to use our fan obviously because of the fumes they do tend to burn a little bit so we have that already charged and ready to go so that's what we're going to be using we're also going to be using tweezers actually and these are the ones that I use, or I use. How's that here? Let me see. <clears throat> I use this Kiss um, tweezers. These are for lashes. As you can see, I will use them. I need to clean them. But I usually go in with this one and press it together. So, again, that's what we're going to be using for today. I'm not sure of the length. I think I'm going to go in the corners with a size 10. And I am going to be doing a doll eye effect. So I'm going to be using the longest size in the middle. Maybe like one or two of them. And then go back down. So it goes short. And then goes to high. Or long. And then it goes back down to short. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that. But first I am going to blow dry my hair really quick. Alright guys, so we blow dried this part of the hair. We have this left. It's all crazy. Like I said, it's not perfect, especially right here because I don't go over it a million times. Just because I, as you can see, like I lose hair or I just never go back. But we're going to go ahead and blow dry this craziness. There it is. Like I said, it's super quick. I don't really, like if I really wanted to, I could go over and over and get this super straight. But I like it with a lot of volume. I hate it when it's flat. It's so nice. And voluminous. But yeah, so now we're gonna go ahead and throw this back. And then it just falls into place. There it is. Now we're going to go ahead and put these eyelashes on because I have like hardly any. And don't mind that. I burn myself, boxy myself. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and put these bad boys on and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So we're going to be putting on our lashes again. I haven't used these. These are 
I don't know the name of it, but it's right there. I do not have the funds for getting my lashes done. And plus, anyway, the days that the times that I have done them, they fall off quite easily. So we're going to be using these. I usually use the fluffier ones and the longer ones, but we're going to try these. So we have our setup here. Let me get my mirror. I use this one. Bye. And then we're also going to be needing a lash curler, the adhesive, my fan, and tweezers. So we're going to go ahead and take this out. Again, this is a lash glue. It's a cluster glue. And we're going to pour some. Show you guys into the. I need to. It's clogged, so let me get that out. All right, so I removed the clogged um, piece from there. We're gonna go ahead and burp it. Um, and then we're gonna pour some into here onto the little tray. We'll do just about that much. And we're gonna burp again. Let me get some clips to clip this down really fast. We got these alligator clips from Shein. I'm going to be using these. Hopefully it doesn't leave any dents. And now we're going to be putting this back. Just like that. Out of my face. Which is amazing. We're going to have leave this handy. Or leave this out for if we need it. Or when we need it. We're going to be grabbing the size 10. I usually just pick up from the base, grab, and then when I go to put it on, I forgot I need to curl my lashes with me. I'm going to slip off to the side. One second. Now we're going to dip just very, very lightly. You don't want to over dip. And then we're going to dry it out a little bit and put the lashes on. You do not want them too close to your, the inner corner of your eyelid or lash line. because and it's gonna poke your eye. You. There is the first one. super watery but there they are I ended up poking myself with that one they're very very natural looking very natural looking I think I ended up putting a little bit more on this side on this end so it feels like it's a little bit darker right here um my eyes get so watery but yeah there is that
Hopefully I don't have to remove it. I feel like something's bothering me. I think I got it. Oh my goodness. I poke my eyeball with the tweezers. You do have to be careful when you're applying them. This seems like I pinch myself up here too. But yeah. So there are those lashes. Super easy. Super simple to put on. Um, just be careful. Don't poke yourself like I, like I did. So now we're going to go ahead and do our nails and finish packing because... I don't know what time my husband's going to be home, and uh, they didn't have to get going, so I need to hurry up. I need to shower my son also. My daughter just showered. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with our nails. I already did this side, but I am going to record doing my left hand, so let's get started. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and get started in doing our nails. As you guys know, I am the queen of DIY, or do it yourself, especially at home. This is my right hand. On this one, it has some shell or some um, pearls with uh, the like water effect. It's very minimal or very. Um, it's not so. I don't know if you guys can even see it. And then we have like a shell effect Frenchie. On this one we have the seashell as well as a water effect on the nail. Another seashell effect and another seashell. So let's go ahead and do our left hand with our dominant hand and I will show you guys a process. All right, for our setup, we are gonna be using the model once in a cream color. We're gonna be using this, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but in a like it's a bluish color. I think I used this one. I'm not sure. I'm going to look at them right now see which one we, we're going to be using. I did this last night. So, and then these are the implements that we're going to be using. This is a clean up brush. And we have our, to like mold our liner brush, rhinestone picker upper, and then our 3D um, mold or whatever you want to call it. Then we have our little we are going to be using the little stars. Oh my goodness, my son. Wait, I don't even think they... Oh yeah, the, the stars are right here. And then some pearls. We're also going to be using this Madame Glam in the color Follow Me for the Shell Effect. As well as our base color is going to be the Vanalisa in... It's the Nude Pink. We're also going to be using this V Shine or Vi Shine, V Shine, and it's a milky white color. Super nice. And that's what we're going to be using for our water effect. We're going to be needing some glue, and we're going to be using the KDS Snail Glue as well as some alcohol to wipe down. Time for my cuticle area or nails. We're going to be using this. And drill. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna put that off to the side. We're gonna need our drill, and very gently, we're gonna buff the shine from our nose. It's very, very gently. You don't want to go in too much. There is a little piece of um, glue there, so I just want to remove that really fast. But again, very, very gentle. All right, so we buffed. Let me put you guys over here. Here, it's not so dark. We're like working in the dark, but anyway, now we are going to wipe down our nails using some alcohol and a wipe. Okay, 
before we glue our nails, we're going to go in with our buffing block and then just remove that shine from the tips. And that's just so your polish can stick better. If not, it'll start to peel. Um, I have another things around the battery, and I need to do some really fast for nails, and I don't talk it off. I'll put the shine off uh, enough, and just walk. Obviously, it's going to be instantly, but maybe after a couple days, a year or two, it'll start um, peeling. I forgot to mention, we're also going to be using some white polish. I'm using the Elite 99 one, as well as a base coat to bloom out or to make that water effect that we have going on here. To start off, we are going to be gluing our nails. We already wiped them off. I am going to be using this to support my hand or my finger and I am going to be starting off with a pinky just because I feel like this is the hardest one if I'm going this way. So you apply it generously around your entire nail bed and then you're going to go at an angle with the tip, just as if you were to be doing the Gelix method. Go at an angle and then bring down and press down and hold. The reason why you want to do that is because you want to get rid of any bubbles <clears throat> or you want to, um, there's like a slight, a tiny bit there, but it's fine. <clears throat> you want to minimize that, so... This one was a lot better, but it's a little bit crooked, but it's all right. Oh, you found it. I'm happy. We are going to go in and shape that just because it is crooked. You're going to take that to Mahinkali? Yeah, but I watch. Oh. I'm happy you found it. Yeah? Are you happy? Yeah. Yeah. You are. We're going to press and hold. Okay. Move on to the next. Happened. Ow. What? Okay, then be careful. We got a little bit of glue here, so we're just gonna buff that off. It's this one that we used. Okay, so it is that one. It's like a beautiful pearl effect. We're going to go ahead and cure that, but before we do that, I think the middle finger is the same color. OK, 
Okay, we're going to go ahead and cure. I think this one can use a darker coat. And we're going to cure. I don't know if you can see that water effect, but oh, I just rubbed it everywhere. Now we're going to go ahead and cure. Okay, now on that finger, we're going to be making a C star, and we're going to be using, let me see, I need to get a dotting tool. So we already did our nails. There's some cute seashells I already showed you guys before. This one came out a little wonky, the starfish, but it'll do. I love having my nails done, and so I cannot afford to go get pay over $100 for my nails. And so 
we actually do them ourselves as well as my lashes like I showed you guys these are clusters so yeah thanks for watching guys I'll see you guys in the next time bye